Now then, Debbie, let's test your new central processor. Initiate toast protocol. Toast? Toast? Toast! Daddy, are you experimenting before breakfast again? <gasps> Whoa! Toast? 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 Dibber! Ugh, put that back! Nobody ugh, wants any toast! It's all right, Frankie. Dither's just testing his new bioelectric chip. Yeah. Toast! And I think it just failed the test. Better call the chief. Better get to safety, Mayor. Police bot, go around back. I'll flush him out. Toast? Ow! Team, Dad needs backup. Dither's on a toaster binge. Looks like he's headed out of town. We're on it. At least nobody lives out there. Actually, there is one person. troubling this poor helper bot. Yeah. Do you have any sourdough? That new bioelectric processor seems the most likely suspect. <laughs> A logical diagnosis. I'll let you know what we find. And uh, thank you again, Anna, for saving Dither. And <clears throat> thank you all as well. Anna was right. It appears that the new bioelectric chip is covered in bacteria. Bacteria? My reading has revealed that they are the culprit behind much human illness. Vile scum. Since when do bacteria make robots sick? Uh, they can't. Whew. But a bioelectric chip is part organic, so bacteria could infect it. It's true. It's what's inside that counts. But, Daddy, you built that bioelectric chip in the clean room. Yes, that is a bit mysterious. What do you mean? The clean room is a completely sealed area. It's free of bacteria or anything that can affect sensitive technology. Any chance your clean room needs cleaning, Doc? Hmm, yes. Foreign contaminants. I'll get the scrub mites, Daddy. Scrub what? Microscopic bacteria eating robots. Didn't know you had any scrub mites, Doc. Best way to decontaminate a clean room. Scrub mites are programmed to seek out and consume all bacteria, completely sanitizing any area they're in. <laughs> um, Doc, exactly what experiment did you do with donuts? That's where my breakfast went. I wonder... Ah! Mystery solved! This donut contains the same bacteria as the bioelectric chip. Got the glass all cleaned up. We'll come back when the new window gets here, Doc. Ooh. Mm. What? I never got any toast. Uh, Kate, that was covered in the bacteria that made Dither go wild. Not to worry. Human stomachs are quite resilient. <laughs> it won't affect Kate in the same way. If everything's under control here, Doc, we've got a lot of toasters to return. 
Hey, Boulder, could you keep it down? Hang on, I'm almost done. Feels like there's still a pen stuck under my seat. Can you see anything? Uh, what are you guys doing? Well, Doc said, it's what's inside that counts. So we thought it would be a good idea to clean out our cabs. <laughs> guys, it's not about what's literally inside you. It's just a saying. It means that what's important about someone isn't how they look, or sometimes even how they act, but who they really are, underneath. Like you, Blades, some people might think you're a scaredy cat, but when it comes to helping friends, you're as brave as anybody. It's true. Or like how Cade acts tough, but inside, he's just a big softy. What? No way! I'm all tough, inside and... <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Oh, wow. Must be hunger hiccups. <clears throat> Come on. Time to replace Doc's window. Then let's go, Captain Cuddles. And don't call me Captain C... <clears throat> no foreign contaminants detected. Now to recall the scrub knights. Missing some scrub mites. Six, to be precise. But where could they go? The clean room's sealed. Not sure, my little Laven Hook. I'll set these scanners to the scrub mites' signal frequency, and we should be able to find them. Hey, Doc. Caden Heatwaver outside with your new window. Uh, Dad, do you think the scrub mites got outside somehow? They're much too small to have crossed the entire lab by now. Hey, Doc, how about those donuts you promised? As we agreed, Cade, after the window repair. You get donuts, I get crumbs in my cushions. Maybe you should just... What's wrong with you? I've been doing that all morning. I'm fine, I'm just... hungry. Nothing yet, Frankie. Are you sure that... Uh... Daddy, we found the scrub mites! Kate! Scrub mites. Don't move! I can't hear you. <sighs> Thanks, Heat Wave. It's all right. I'm. Confirms it. The scrub mites are inside Cade. Inside it. What would you do this time, but Cade? How? <gasps> the mites must have been on that donut from the clean room. And you can never pass up a donut, can you? They are the bacon of breakfast food. There's no danger, is there, Doc? If these things only eat bacteria... The trouble is, bacteria are everywhere. Even inside us. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> In all of us, Cade. Some bacteria are helpful, and even necessary for good human health. Like the ones that help with our digestion. <laughs> bacteria. Hashtag freaky. But the mites can't tell the difference. They're eating the good bacteria along with the bad. And that could damage your body. So these scrubbits are the reason I'm... <laughs> I'm afraid so. Is there a way to shut the scrub mites off? Uh, nope. And their batteries last a long time. I've tried to recall them, but the signal won't penetrate human tissue. And they keep moving. Then surgery is out. Um, y well, yeah. We would need to send something inside your body to track, trap, and carry the mites back out. Go get a minimizer. Something or someone. <laughs> We have shrinking covered. Hmm, I wonder. Yes! No! You mean somebody actually go inside me? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Not this guy. We can't just do nothing, son. Let me help you with this. Doc, I'm willing to go. Me too. Count me in. But there's still the problem of how we send you in. And how you carry back six scrub mites. We can help with that. Suitable for travel in inner as well as outer space. 
And plenty of room for those mites in our cargo hold. <laughs> to go where no bot has gone before. And with good reason, I might add. Does no one else find this a little bit creepy? Hatch closed. All set, Doc. Have a fantastic voyage! <laughs> Rescue team, come in! Heat wave? All good, Cody. We'll let you know when we're in position. Hmm. I feel fine. Cody, get heat wave on the comm tab. I'm calling this mission off. Um, a little late for that. Those red dots are the scrub mites, and the green dot is the bot ship. What? Wait, you mean it's already... How did you... Heatwave said he'd steer clear of your teeth. Here we go! We're here. Wherever that is. There's our first batch. You'd better stay with the ship. Not sure how long humans can last out there. Not sure how long I can last. No wonder humans can't transform. They're missing so many parts. Ugh, squishy. What do you know? Kate is a big softy inside. <laughs> Whoa. Tickled from the inside. Weird. What is that toxic liquid? Acid. We're in Kate's stomach. Didn't know they'd be so big. They're not. We're really small. Okay, no sudden moves. Go slow and... Power up and energize! Surprise them. Consider yourself burned. They're a little bigger than we planned on. That'll hold them. Three down, Cody. Where to next? The other three mites are near Kate's spine. Sending you a map. Anybody hear that scratching? Humans do retain many types of fluids. Fascinating structure. Look, Heatwave. Cade isn't spineless. We'll sightsee later. There. Ah! Lightning! Ah! 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 Whoa! Everybody okay out there? Negative. Do all humans contain inclement weather, or only Cade? It's not weather. See that glow moving down? Electricity? A, a pulse from the brain. Like a message telling Cade's body to do something. Then tell Cade to stop his brain! That shouldn't be too hard. Stop thinking! Hey! He doesn't need to stop his brain. He needs to stop his foot. Cade, you're causing a lightning storm! My feet were tingling. Ah, great. Now Haley's mad at me. Autocorrect. I meant forever, not football. Hmm. Play back that video of the pulse, Cody. 
there! The scrub mice have been eating your myelin sheath, kid. My huh? Myelin sheath. It's a protective outer coating on nerves, like the plastic around a wire. With the coating gone, the electrical pulses shoot out from the exposed nerves and make your feet tingle. So my feet are gonna tingle, football? I mean, forever. The myelin will heal with time once the mites stop eating it. But for now... Sorry, guys. Oh, you wish to see which of us can pin charter? Challenge accepted. Power up and energize! I can't feel my legs! Oh, I think I struck a nerve. I got this heat wave! Oh. Here. They're eating into the ship. We have to hurry. Blades, you sure you're okay? My tail skid still tingles, but other than that... Cody, we have all the scrub mites. Now, how do we get out of here? Follow the spinal column up to Kate's head. Plenty of exits there. The mites must have eaten through the ignition panel. Maybe we can reroute the circuit. <laughs> The circuit is active, but we don't have any power. We need a jump. From where? One of the other ships inside Cade? Cade can provide the jolt. All he has to do is move his foot and kapow! Lightning! That could give us enough power to restart the engine. How am I supposed to do that? I still can't feel my feet. <laughs> no problem. For an electric pulse to go from his brain down his nerves, Cade must make his foot move. Do it, Cade. Everyone inside you is counting on it. Hey, from in here, it looks like you've gone all soft, Captain Cuddles. I told you, don't call me Captain Cuddles! Check on it. Keep us moving. The scrub mites are getting loose. Heatwave, do you require assistance? No. Just get us out of Cade. Now! But where are we? You're in Cade's nasal cavity. Ew. I had to ask. Nasal? No problemo. I'll get him out of there. What? I can sneeze on command. How could you not know that about me? Everyone better strap in. Air leaving the nose during a sneeze can travel more than 100 miles per hour. Cool! Noble! And ew again. Ready for launch. Power up and energize! <sighs> 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 All I can see is yellow, and the scrub mites are getting loose. Don't worry, Heat Wave. All scrub mites accounted for. Yellow?
Wait, are you okay? Have you seen what you eat? Nice sneeze, bud. Bone structure is amazing. Your fluids appear adequately this I don't even want to think about what I was walking on. Doc says I'm fine. Thanks to you guys. Thank you for the ride home. Well, guess you had it in you after all, Captain. What's inside does count. But sometimes, getting what's inside out can be just as important. Oh my, I'm late. Professor Baranova and I are meeting for an experiment. Over dinner. Ugh. Hey, uh, Heat Wave, seriously though, don't call me that again. <laughs> Tough guy. You know it, inside and out. Which reminds me, you still have some vacuuming to do. <laughs> Crumbs in your cushion. 